Have you ever considered approaching your finances like an athlete? Athletes have a strong mindset that you should consider adopting when it comes to tackling your own finances. Today I'll share with you three quick and effective tips that we can all learn from athletes. If you handle your finances using these tips, you'll be well on your way to living a financially fit life. Welcome back to Financially Fit with Katie. I am Katie McDonald and I am dedicated to being your anchor for a financially fit life. Please do not forget to subscribe. That way you will be notified when new content has been uploaded. Now let's jump into today's topic, financial lessons we can learn from athletes. So athletes are often treated like superheroes and for good reason too. They undergo rigorous training, they develop astounding mental strength and achieve what we call mental and physical peak performance. Today though, we're not talking about physical fitness, we are talking about financial fitness. Now the mindset with which you approach your finances, it isn't actually that different from an athlete's approach to their sport. So first thing is defining your goals. So all athletes develop tailored goals to put them onto the path to success. Financial goals are the same. If you don't lay that groundwork for your financial future by establishing goals and priorities, the financial future that you want, it won't be guaranteed. Now, athletes often have both short-term and long-term goals. So a track star may have a goal for their next track meet while also working towards Olympic trials, which could be well into the future. Now, when it comes to your finances, I want you to think about the long term. These goals could manifest through retirement savings or a college savings fund for your children. Think about what do you want your financial reality to look like in the long run and what can you do now to make that happen? Now, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't have short-term goals. Absolutely, you need to establish short-term goals. These are crucial to your finances and they intermingle with your long-term goals. By consciously making um, and thinking about your goals and how you can attain them, you're already one step closer to financial fitness. So two is staying disciplined. Now, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna say this, being that I am out in Massachusetts, I think Tom Brady and the TV 12 method every time that I see this. So athletes are notorious for hard work that they put in. Staying in peak physical condition and aiming for constant improvement requires immense discipline, as does staying in peak financial condition. So even if you're working with a financial advisor, you don't have the equivalent of a coach that can bench you for failing to put in the discipline. An advisor can draw those lines for you, but you ultimately need to carry that will to cross them. This especially comes true when it comes to your spending habits. When you have a budget, stick to it without exception. Your goals are nothing if you don't harbor the discipline to make them a reality. Now lastly, stick with it. The best athletes they don't give up even when they fail, they stay committed and focused on their goals. Don't be discouraged if you happen to maybe overspend one month or you make an impulse buy or maybe your investments just aren't doing so well right now. You just do not want to give up. Just like an athlete, pick yourself back up, refocus and keep putting in the work so that you can reach your financial goals. Thank you so much for viewing this video. I really hope that whether all of the goals or, or one of them, I, I hope you picked up a tip that's gonna help you as you continue on your journey to living a financially fit life. If there's any questions or anything that I can do for you, my contact information will be listed in the description box and you can always contact me through my, my website or send me an email directly um, to my McDonald Wealth email address. So I hope that everybody um, stays safe, stay healthy, enjoy these last couple of weeks of the summer. Until next time, guys, stay safe, be well. Bye.